Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Divine Healing Tarot. Today, we're going to go ahead and get a reading for all 12 zodiacs. We're going to be pulling some oracle and we're going to be pulling some tarot. All right, let's get started. What do we have for my beautiful collective? First, we're going to be starting out with the stone deck. Okay, what do we have for my beautiful collective? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. First card we have is Moonstone. Or no, I'm sorry. <laughs> A Pathiolite. I'm probably saying that wrong, so there you go. It says um, who needs it? Anyone looking for that ray of light from on high to hit them something good, to hit them with something good, where to put it? Wherever you practice religion, meditation, or channel or prayer, when to use it, when the spiritual life feels like a moving target, when you feel skeptical about your true purpose on earth, when you feel like you're yeah, but thoughts are dishonoring your innermost you. Beam yourself up, way up. Yeah. And this is what it looks like. That's beautiful. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put that right there. It will stay. Stay. Okay. And then we have these two. These are very beautiful. Okay, we have citrine. Citrine. Anyone with a big, big ideal or the idea of a big dream, probably you. Where to put it? Wherever you set your intentions, placing some citrine in your pocket each morning makes an energetic statement like greatness is out there and I'm coming for it. When to use it? When it is time to really get on your grind and start creating the tomorrow of your dreams today. Manifest with a masterpiece. That's beautiful. Manifest with a masterpiece collective, yes. What you speak about, you bring about. What you feel becomes real, okay? So we need to be very mindful that at this time, especially during this uh, big, huge Capricorn and Aquarius uh, yeah, at this time, we really need to be mindful of what we speak about, okay? And then it says, um, Azurite, Azurite, where, where to put it? Alongside the spiritual shovel you're using to dig your way out of that prison of worry, indecision, and desire, you concentrate or you construct it around you when to use it when mental or i'm sorry when material pleasures aren't giving you the buzz they used to when it's time to take a breath or time to take a break from snapping selfies and chasing shiny things you can shake off shallowness start with your breath then dive into the deep and deep end and with as a right Oh gosh, I hate Mercury. Um, and then it says, explore your hidden depths. Beautiful collective. Yes, that is gorgeous. I love that stone. Okay, we'll put that one right here. And then we also have Muscovite. Muscovite. This is what it looks like. Okay. Okay, and then it says, Muscovite. Uh where to put it against your forehead while peering into the future when to use it when i want to believe in your mo when you feel like you've been missing the signs when you have a problem logic won't solve when you when you've blown the lid off with too much meditation micro dosing or mold moldavite and need to get a grip develop your foresight with moldavite okay i'm probably saying that wrong as well so there you go there's the correct pronunciation sorry guys i've 
I've had a learning disability all my life and I refuse to let that stop me. And so my biggest learning disability was reading. And so um, I make it a point to try to read every day. And I'm sorry if I stumble over my words here on my channel, but just know that by you guys having patience and with me and my, my reading, it's much appreciated. And I truly love you guys. Thank you. Okay, let's see what this one is. Oh, adventuring, adventuring. Okay, can you see it? Yeah, okay. When to use it, Mela, melatonic inhabitants of ruts and funks. Anybody with a side hustle, where to put it? In your pocket on poker night. Wherever you encounter people, places, and things, hell bent to bring you down to the gutter level. Oh, that sounds really nice. Walk in the park. Okay. Um, when to use it? When you find yourself in a crisis of con or crises of confidence, and it's time to wake up, clean up, and re-up your shine. Show off your sparkle with adventuring. All right, beautiful collective. All right, and that's probably gonna be the last one because I don't know where I'm gonna put that one, but I'll just, um, can, uh, let's see, maybe we could put it right there. There we go. Okay, now let's get some tarot for our current situation for the collective that was most guided to this message. No, you know what? We're going to make this Aries reading. Aries reading, okay? So for Aries, what do we have for my beautiful Aries? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Check your birth chart. Also, I'm doing ascension, ascended north node and ascending sign, okay? And then tomorrow, or not tomorrow, um, let, yeah, I'll probably do it tonight. I'm going to go ahead and do a Divine After Dark reading tonight as I pull the the <laughs> Ten of Swords and the, what is that, Nine of Pentacles? Gosh, I cannot think of this. Okay. All right. Let's see. What do we got for our beautiful Aries signs? For my Aries. What do we got, Spirit? Okay. Hold on, I'm trying to get used to this new camera angle, this new setup and everything. I'm trying different things so then, you know, <laughs> yeah. It's just good to try different things. Did the camera move? Yeah, it did, huh? Okay, this is my testing video, so I'm just letting you guys know, okay? And we got the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. That's beautiful energy. Oh, we got the devil card, Aries. What's going on? Addictions, depression, mental health issues. Oh, yeah, we're going to pull some clarity on that. We're going to pull some clarity on that one. We'll just put the devil right there. It says um, the three of wands. Uh, you could be moving. Okay, I see moving. That was the first The first word that came to my sight was moving. And then also um, you could be moving to foreign land. Or you could be uh, lacking self-confidence at this time or self-belief, freedom, success. And or it says um, happy with choices and outcome and hard work paying off. So you could be moving to somewhere where you've been wanting to move for a while. Okay. And we got your card, Aries, the emperor. The emperor. Let's see what this could be put right there. There we go. The emperor. The first thing I seen when I looked at this card was um, logical, practical, older man stability, okay? So you could be moving to a place where you're gonna be acquiring more stability in your life, more structure. I'm really hearing structure is needed. And also, um, Aries, you might be wanting to say your prayers of protection at this time, okay? That's the first one, the other first word that I see, well, second word, I should say. Oh, we got two of wands, three of wands, that's beautiful. Okay, and then I got, I see uh, two paths here. It's time to make that decision, Aries. Stop sitting on the fence. If you're radiating in the emperor energy, you need to take action now. Okay, maybe there's some things that we need to detach from and withdraw from. Hence the devil and addictions. 
okay so maybe we have some addictions they could be um porn addiction they could be um codependency addictions they could be drug alcohol addictions okay and then the first uh word that i seen here was imagination dream and uh deep feelings so maybe we're getting some really uh deep feelings in our dreams at this time and we need to uh, really be focusing on those at this time. Maybe that could help us get out of these um, addictions. Think of new creative ways, Aries, that you could spark up your, your life where you could focus more on a, maybe a hobby or maybe, um, you know, uh, going for a walk or building something. For those of you that are retired, because I did see older man, um, for you, those of you that are retired, you know, you might want to take up some kind of carpentry skill where you start building stuff. I really hear that, you know, um, if you love your job, you never work a day in your life. And Aries, also, your intuition could be on point at this time with imagination and dreams and empath and occult. So, you know, don't be afraid to explore the occult and explore different religions. And as I said that, it was 11-11. Um, yeah, maybe there's something else out there that, you know, you're being asked to fulfill this at this time. Maybe there's some really um, toxic, evil things that happen to people out there. And you've been through a lot because you're an older man and the Queen of Cups here. Your heart is, um, you're leading with your heart instead of your head. And um, maybe, you know, you could be that one person that could help the person, the people out there that have been through some very toxic situations. So let's keep that in mind as well, Aries, because all those hard times did not go unrecognized in our life for nothing. Okay. And then bottom the deck, we have the Ace of Cups. So the Ace of Cups here, uh, first thing I seen was um, new romance, love, and happiness. So, you know, there could be a new romantic person coming into your life at this time. So, you know, new beginnings as well. You might be moving and starting over. So just stay optimistic, Aries, and lead with your heart and not your head. Also, try to stay very busy, okay? Bottom the deck here. Try to stay very busy. Um, the more you stay busy, the more you focus in on work, the better that um, you're going to feel about yourself in your day. And then we have also regret. Okay, so maybe there's something that happened in our past that we are regretting. That maybe a decision that we... Hold on, i got to fix my camera. Maybe there's a decision that we made in our past that you know we're really regretting at this time and we just wish we would have made a different decision. But don't worry, Aries, because where one door closes, three more will open. And what was meant for you will never pass you by. Okay? Then we have perfect union, partnerships, okay? Uh, shared values. I really feel like you're going to be coming into a connection with somebody very soon that you're going to be sharing a lot of values with and a perception on a lot of things. But right now, you're being asked to um, release needing to release um your lack of direction so we really need to probably start meditating and you're feeling a little trapped right now aries i mean look at this picture of this guy the blood is rushing to his head that can't be very comfortable okay so we're gonna go ahead and part the deck here okay balance is is very much needed at this time as well um ups and downs you know you're really going with the high tide the low tide of earth, of the of life right now life is kind of taking you for a little bit of challenges but we got to remember we got to stay optimistic okay and if transferring money or uh profits and loss and income income and outgo come outgoings of financial um investments are lacking in this time right now then maybe we need to really start just focusing on work Okay, we also could be dealing with a spiritual death and rebirth. Okay, 13 could also be a very significant number for you. Um, we are being asked at this time to let go. Let go of the past, let go of the, the drama, let go of the thought of trying to control a situation. We need to start going with the flow, Aries. We're not going to get anywhere if we sit there and watch water boil. We have to get up and actually make action happen. We have to do something to better ourselves and our situation. We need to stand in our power, be in charge, be defensive. And um, also I'm hearing work on that loyalty because, um, or maybe somebody that you were dealing with needs to work on their loyalty. 
maybe somebody that was in a leadership role that was you were dealing uh, with or somebody that you were going to go into business with. Um, there was a little bit of toxic toxicity there and codependency I'm hearing. Also, do not be impulsive, Aries, okay? We need to um, inspire others to uh, create and achieve. We don't need to be naming any uh, negative things at this time and being a negative Nancy. Okay, last card of the deck. I'm going to split it. The sun card. The sun will come out tomorrow. All right, Aries. There is light at the end of that tunnel. So we need to stay positive. Have fun. Six, and be, you'll be successful if you just have fun and you dance and you be happy and you express yourself. You're also going to be coming into some luck, Aries. Um, red and yellow could also be very significant colors for you. So if you're seeing a lot of red and yellows, pay attention to what's happening at that time. Okay. Also, um, horses could be very therapeutic for you when going through depression or PTSD or dealing with some very toxic issues and that you just need to release. Maybe we could take up a uh, volunteer service and, and go to your nearest shelter for animals and work with animals that I really hear that will be, bring you a lot of peace and comfort in your heart, okay? And I'm feeling guided. Just pull this one. Yes, King of Pentacles. Mature, grounded male. I am definitely speaking to an older man, okay? Um, also, it was 1633 on the clock. So there could have been a tower that came in, and but this was divinely guided. This all was divinely guided from the universe with the three number, the universal number of three. Just know that you're not alone, Aries, okay? Um, you do have your spirit guides with you. Um, you do have stability. You do have structure. You do have a roof over your head, clothes on your back, and food in your belly. So there's the little things in life that we just really need to be focusing on right now and, and be grateful for. 17-7 when I said that on the clock. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it there, Aries. Oh, nope. I'm sorry. I fibbed. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and get a love oracle, seeing how we did have the Queen of Cups that was out here. For Aries, what do we have, Spirit? For Aries, I have to move these cards. Hold on a minute. I can't put my elbow on those. <laughs> okay, there we go. Why? You're not coming in, baby. No. No. Keep a knocking, but you can't come in. That's what I'm hearing, Aries. <laughs> Keep a knocking, but you can't come in. Maybe there's some people from your past that are trying to come back at this time. And you're just like, uh-uh, I don't want no company. I'm going through a death and a rebirth. I'm dealing with my own toxic issues and I just don't want to deal with it. But Aries, if we keep ourselves closed off like that and isolated, that's also not good, okay? Um, even though, you know, retreat did come out for you, okay? Because religious factors are, um, you're, you're being awoken to some religious factors at this time. Um, there is like a honeymoon and I'm really feeling like a honeymoon with, uh, the awakening of self, like going out and finding yourself again, loving yourself, finding that chemistry and that ebb and flow with, um, just your divine flow, your divine power standing in your power. Okay. And I'm feeling kind of to do that. Oh, release your ex. Okay. Aries, maybe there is uh, an ex that you have to release or maybe an ex has to release you because some people... Just don't let go of our energy when they really should. <laughs> the time has come to clear your energy. So I'm also hearing smudging ceremony, okay? Pay attention to the red flags because the signs are cautioning you, Aries, okay? Um, we have to look for triggers. Uh, be mindful of triggers. If you get triggered, just remember that it is for a reason. And that is what you are guided to heal at this time. All right, so let's rec start recognizing triggers and red flags so we don't repeat the, the, the past again. And then we have passion in reverse. You need to reignite that fire within your soul, Aries, because the passion is just seriously lacking. And, and we need to find that happy place, that self-love. Ace of Cups over here and Queen of Cups. You do probably have also a lot of water in your chart. Okay? And it says free yourself again. So maybe we just need to get outside, Aries, and get some nice fresh sun. Because it is time to take back control of your life. Okay, and I'm really hearing that a nice walk or a hike can really do you some justice. And I'm feeling guided to pull that one. And it says, make the effort. Okay, great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. 
and I'm going to leave it there. You guys, I'm going to be back on for the rest of the Zodiac sign, so please stay tuned. Love you. Bye.